Hey guys, what's happening and welcome to another episode of Annie Metal Viking with me, your host Viking. And today I have a special announcement for you guys, but that will be announced at the end of this video, so please stick around for the review. And yeah, and we'll get to that when we get to that. So let's get started with the review, shall we? Okay, so um, I know I'm a bit late in reviewing this, but uh, a week or two ago, um, Fatal just dropped his new EP, uh, his first EP as a solo artist, uh, and it is called New Horizons. If you're wondering who Fatal is, Fatal was the brains behind um, Fail Emotions, which is a trance metal band uh, based in Russia. <clears throat> now, basically, um, he's left the band. So, as I've said, he's now started a solo career. Uh, he, his uh, style, as which is very evident on this EP, is very much still fail emotions. It's still trance and metal. However, his choice in vocal style. Now, I don't know if he did the vocals himself, but I did read somewhere that he said something about saying vocalist. It's the same vocalist uh, who did the vocals on uh, Fail Emotions last release and that was a completely different vocalist because of his um, uh, deeper voice uh, etc and uh, so yeah basically um, in, in a sense not just uh, in terms of vocal stuff but instrumental style as well Fatal has really matured as a musician and we actually get to see by listening to this what Fail Emotions could possibly uh, have sounded like provided he'd stayed with the band. Now, um, Fail Emotions have also announced a release for some time uh, this year. Uh, so we've yet to basically see, uh, or shall I say here, what that's going to be like, but uh, but no doubt they'll stick with their trans metal sound and they won't disappoint their fans. Um, so uh, that's obviously coming. But with regards to this, as I said, this gives us a glimpse as to what fail emotions could possibly be. And while the EP is a uh, pretty short, um, it basically consists of uh, six. Um, original versions of the song, uh, four instrumental versions, one of the instrumental versions being the instrumental version of a single that he released a month prior to releasing this EP, and um, yeah, that's about it. But as I said with his um, uh, musical um, maturity, uh, when Fatal did a uh, purely electronic songs on the previous Fail Emotions um, albums and EPs. Basically, um, uh, what would happen is, is his electronic style, although he had the trance synths on point, the, uh, the beat and the structure was something very uh, typical uh, that you'd hear from any metal band that incorporates electronics. Uh, into their music and um, so even his pure electronic tracks sounded something more like from an industrial trance side or something like that however there is one track uh, the track is called whole world uh, for those of you out there who are fans of house music and any of the recent Armin van Buren material um, or Tiesto material uh, go and check that song out because um, it's absolutely fantastic uh, and the way it is produced um, it is produced as if uh, he's finally um, produced a song that a lot a lot of professional DJs would produce the the, uh, the production value of that particular song is absolutely fantastic it's definitely uh, it definitely shows his musical maturity on the production side when it comes to just doing pure electronic songs instead of the the trance metal songs. 
The transmetal songs do show some musical maturity as well, and not just vocally, like I said, instrumentally as well. There um, is just a lot of stuff in the structure of these songs that, uh, since he has full control over, over how he wants the melodies to go, etc., um, it's just there are some a lot of elements when you listen to the riffs uh, uh, the and how they accompany the transcends uh, just how different it is to what fail emotions uh, normally do and that's because since fail emotions is a band obviously the, all the people in the band need to come to an agreement and over something and uh, they will add in this little bit here, this little bit here, ultimately changing the original idea of the song. Hence why we have demos. So, um, yeah, they, uh, it's this has got a lot of different elements. So, basically, think of it as Fail, fail Emotions 2.0, um, the more mature version of it. Now, Fail Emotions, most of the band members have left, but all included. So, we've yet to actually hear what they sound like now. I have no clue as to whether they have a new vocalist now or not, um, since both their vocalists left, but uh, that remains to be seen. But as, uh, for now, this EP, it's just, it's absolutely fantastic. If you, uh, any of you guys out there, if you are a fan of uh, house music, uh, like with artists like Avicii, um, if you're a fan of trance music, so, but like recent releases from Armin van Buren and Tiesto, which have a bit of a house flair to it, and if, obviously if you're a fan of metal music, and when I say metal music, I mean more recent and modern genres of metal, so if you're a fan of gents, metalcore, and post-hardcore, then you're bound to enjoy uh, this. Uh, there's also some elements of progressive uh, to it um, because uh, obviously the songs don't have a 100% uh, simple structure. It is very progressive a lot of the time. Uh, so yeah, um, if you like uh, your progressive metal, there's uh, something in there for you to enjoy as well. So um, yeah, this is a brilliant EP. I highly recommend that you guys go check it out. Uh, uh, sorry, check it out. And um, I'd have to give it a rating of, uh, say, an, an 98 out of 100. It's it's that good. And now uh, this is uh, it's just my opinion. Uh, I can't uh, force it upon you guys, but I do highly recommend that you go and at least check it out. And if you're not interested in the uh, trans metal songs, then at least do your best to look up either by going on his official Bandcamp page or if it has been uploaded to YouTube already, uh, go and check out the song uh, Whole World if you're not particularly interested in the metal side of it because then you can listen to an electronic song that is of a genre of your interest that has been written, composed and performed by somebody who does metal music and you can hear the difference in the quality as opposed to just a regular DJ who tries to emulate other DJ sounds. So yeah, uh, definitely go and check that out. And that concludes the review part of this video. Now we get to the special announcements. Now, I'm sure you have all noticed that there have been long gaps in between me uploading YouTube videos lately and this is mainly because there are a lot of things going on in my life right now that are just making me uh, basically just be really really busy and also art is my primary interest this channel is kind of more or less meant as a hobby as a, as a secondary um, uh, thing so Basically now I came up with this schedule that will allow me to provide daily content for you guys while at the same time doing this uh, stuff that I need to be spending more time on. So here's how it's going to go down. Every day for six days out of the seven days in the week you will get a video and on each day it will be something uh, different. Uh, but. Some 
it put, will all fall within the lines of the regular series uh, and uh, of episodes that I upload onto this channel. So, uh, as of today, like you just got today, every Monday you will get a Viking Reviews video where I review, you know, um, anime, music, cartoons, comic books, uh, video games, uh, the works when it comes to uh, the entertainment industry. So, um, yeah, every Monday you will get a Viking Reviews video. Every Tuesday you will get a Viking Reacts video. Now these videos, as you as you know, for those of you who've been watching my channel from the start, uh, these are a series of videos where I take a particular topic that is uh, current and I uh, either do a discussion about it or if it's something that infuriates me a lot, rant about it. Um, so yeah, every single Tuesday you, get a, you will get a Viking Reacts video and yeah it will be it will cover various topics uh, as to uh, concerns what i review etc so yeah every tuesday viking reacts video then on a wednesday you will get another topic video but either based either around animation comic books or video games and anime and these particular topics are not necessarily uh current um, events within the industry, but ba based off more or less a nostalgia factor. Like, for example, if I do a topic about a show that was uh, really good, but was cancelled, or something like that, uh, for stupid reasons, or for valid reasons, whatever the case may be, or something like that, any kind of topic related to those four things I will do a discussion about and how what could have been the possibilities what actually might be the possibilities if any recent announcements were made um, so basically just you'll get a general discussion video um, on a on a Wednesday uh, regarding those four topics then on a Thursday you will either get a countdown video where I do a, a countdown of whatever um, then you might get a recommendation video where I give you a list of things to check out so if it's related to a particular theme I've already done one recommendation uh, a video already so I, th I think that was my Halloween specials if you haven't seen that yet go check it out and uh, music um, topic uh, video so uh, you'll either get something regarding music once again not necessarily a current thing it will be more or less a past thing a nostalgia thing of what might uh, might have been what should have been could have been whatever that sort of thing uh, recommendation videos as I say where I give a list of things that you might enjoy based around whatever the theme is and um, countdown videos, as and you all know what a countdown video consists of. So whatever I decide to do a countdown of, you guys will get that kind of video. Then on a Friday, you will get an Art of Viking uh, episode. And this will be where I showcase to you guys the art that I have done during the course of the week, which will include final products and practice work um, and the point of the series I already have two episodes on this channel already but I've decided to resume the series um, the point of the series is that so that you guys can uh, critique my artwork so if you have any constructive uh, constructive uh, criticism that you'd like to say about my artwork in order to help me improve my drawings and deliver better final products for you guys to see then please be, be sure to leave comments on those videos or if not on the videos on my Facebook page when I post the pictures please guys it would mean so much to me if there was a little a bit more involvement in those videos it would go a really long way and I'd very much appreciate it and then on 
uh, the weekends. Now, on the weekends, you might get these videos either on a Saturday or on a Sunday. It really just depends because I work on the weekends. Um, and depending on my fellow co-worker, whether she uh, can make it on certain days or whether she cannot and I have to work both days, whatever the case may be, you will get an AMV on the weekends. Uh, however, it will it won't necessarily be set on a Saturday or set on a Sunday. You might get it on either day, depending. So you will get an AMV. And what better way to start these AMVs than by actually finishing those Ghost in the Shell AMVs I promised a while back? So um, you'll get those first. And to the few people who did vote uh, when I requested for votes uh, on my page for the Sony would like to see in the third one. Thank you uh, to you guys. I really appreciate the fact that you did take the time to actually vote. So your song that you voted for will be in the third and final Ghost in the Shell AMV until such a, a time I decide to make another Ghost in the Shell AMV. Um, so yeah, weekends, you will always get an AMV. Always. And if it changes for any particular reason whatsoever then you'll either get another viking reacts or viking reviews video it really just depends on the scenario but most likely you will definitely get an amv on the weekends and that is the schedule um i hope you guys are okay with this schedule i hope this makes you guys happy and uh um I hope you're happy that um you'll be getting more daily content in the future so Thank you very much, guys. Thanks once again for your support. And thank you for staying with me on my 50th YouTube upload. Um, I've uh, already started this channel. It's coming up um, in August for a year ago. So thank you for supporting my channel, all of you. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you around in the next one. Until next time, guys, have a kick-ass day.